When you watch a documentary about snakes, you tend to notice a few things about them. One of those is their incredible confidence. It's almost like these slithering reptiles are just so confident in their venom and squeezing ability that they feel like they can take on any other animal. Here's the thing though, confidence can only take you so far. And for many snakes, there comes a time when you just meet an opponent that proves to be more than a match for you. The result, as you can imagine, tends to be disastrous for the creepy crawly guys. Join us as we have a look at 20 times that snakes messed with the wrong opponent. Number 20. Monitor Lizard Chomps a Rattlesnake The rattlesnake is one of the most dangerous snakes in the world. With their sharp rattles that announce their presence wherever they go, these snakes are as deadly as they come. Interestingly, however, some animals also don't give a toss about rattlesnakes. One of those is the monitor lizard, an animal so notorious that it's widely believed that these lizards are immune to some forms of snake venom. Years ago, a nature documentary channel would be filming a series on monitor lizards that they had named Dino when it came into contact with a rattlesnake, and the outcome wasn't so great for the latter. The battle began and swiftly devolved into a one-sided affair, with Dino chomping down on the snake's head and literally mopping the floor with it. Dino doesn't waste any time. When he was satisfied with his performance, Dino then treated himself to the spoils of war and feasted upon his poor victim. Don't get into the shot, hun. Side. Number 19. Slender Mongoose Squares Off With Black Mamba Just like the rattlesnake, the black mamba is another type of snake that is incredibly dangerous. Interestingly, these snakes are actually brown, even though they have the black in their name. They're known for their size, speed, and incredibly effective venom, which, according to some sources, has almost 100% kill rate against humans. The black mamba's venom is so potent, in fact, that it takes barely two drops of it to kill a large animal like an elephant. And an average human would die from a black mamba's bite in literally about 20 minutes. Still though, the black mamba's potency was no match for the heart on this slender mongoose. The footage, which was captured a few years ago, shows the mongoose squaring off with the black mamba one-on-one -on -one and showing some pretty impressive fighting skills. After carefully dodging some of the mamba's attacks, the mongoose then goes in to land a few blows of its own, and just like that, old mama mamba bites the dust. He got it, he got it. Of course, it's not surprising that this happened. The mongoose is especially known for its ability to fight and kill venomous snakes with their receptors that make them pretty much immune to venom. This mamba was toast from the very beginning. Number 18. Secretary Bird Kills a King Cobra The secretary bird is large, terrestrial, and is known to have long, slender feet. But don't let their skinny feet fool you. The secretary bird is actually known to deliver sharp and accurate kicks that could literally weigh up to five times their own body weight. Interestingly, the secretary bird's snake-killing ability is so legendary that it's literally incorporated into the bird's nomenclature. The bird's Latin name is something that loosely translates to catcher of serpent or snake. I mean, what more proof could you actually need that these kung fu birds are amongst snakes' deadliest enemies? For a perfect example of just how effective the secretary birds are at killing the snakes, check out this one-sided battle between one of them and a king cobra. The cobra chose to run, of course, but it wasn't nearly as fast as this. The secretary bird is truly a marvel of nature, and with their impressive abilities, it's no wonder that snakes fear them to death. Number 17. Green Tree Frog Swallows a Live Taipan The taipan snake is a highly venomous snake that's indigenous to New Guinea and Australia. In fact, some sources claim that the inland or western taipan is the most venomous snake in the world, with a single drop of its venom being able to kill multiple human beings. 
Still, though, the prospect of being alone with the Taipan did not scare this green tree frog as it literally snuck up on the snake from behind and devoured it whole. The ordeal isn't quite surprising, though. Despite having the most lethal venom in the world, Taipan snakes are actually quite placid, they don't attack unless provoked, and they're not as brutal as, say, the King Cobra. Still though, I feel like a frog sneaking up on you and eating you alive should be enough of an emergency to be classified as provoking. Number 16. Rabbit Fends Off a Snake Attack Rabbits are amongst the snake's favorite snacks. They're helpless and filled with meat, and chomping down on them won't take much time for a snake. Plus, we all kind of know that rabbits can be a little bit timid. Well, it looks like this guy must have heard all that rabbit talk and decides to take things personally, because when a snake came into his yard, he was quick to show the crawly bugger who's boss. After that initial scuffle, the snake actually tried to flee the scene, but our furry friend was not ready to let him go just yet. The snake did manage to fight the rabbit and run for dear life, and I'm quite sure that he'd be more careful if he found another rabbit in the future. Number 15. Mother Kitten Fends Off a Python for Her Babies Still on the subject of mothers going above and beyond for their tiny babies, check out this amazing show of courage from one mother cat who didn't think twice when a python came for her kittens. The mother cat and the python began by simply staring at each other, but when the python recoiled and launched an attack, the mother cat repelled it with a vicious forehand. After the battle raged on for a while, the snake pretty much decided not to fight anymore. Instead, he just walked through the family and went into the hole for a timeout. The poor guy must have been exhausted after getting his head smacked around like that. Number 14. Honey Badger Knocks Out Mole Snake The honey badger is seen by many as a snake's worst enemy. These animals might not be the biggest in the jungle, but they are a perfect example of having hard oversize. Part of why these animals are especially feared is because they have the perfect one-two punch against venom. Their bodies are full of molecular defenses that allow them to easily repel venom, and their skin is so thick that it avoids getting struck by a snake in the first place. In this matchup, you get a honey badger going up against the mole snake. You would think that this would be an even matchup, but it was not even close. Is his ultimate test. As the slow motion footage showed, the mole snake repeatedly tried to target the honey badger's weak spot, that being its head, but the badger wasn't even deterred in the slightest. The moment that the badger got in one bite, the mole snake tried running for the hills but there was no escaping this kind of ass-kicking. As soon as the badger was able to catch the snake's jaws, the verdict was in, the snake was done for. Number 13. Alligator Dominates a Burmese Python The Burmese python is one of the largest snake species in the entire world. Indigenous to Southeast Asia, this non-venomous snake averages between 6 and 9 feet in height. While constricting, they can produce several hundreds of pounds of force per square inch. Over the years, Burmese pythons have become an invasive species, entering the Florida Everglades and competing for space and resources with American alligators. Now, Personally, I don't know why anyone would want to fight an alligator on its own turf, but this python tried and he got what was coming to him. Things soon became dire for the python after the alligator had caught it, biting down with a force of over 2,000 pounds per square inch. The alligator had the python in a chokehold that was impossible to break free of. Ah! 
After a battle that lasted hours, the alligator actually allowed the python to walk away instead of eating it, but I'm pretty sure this guy wouldn't be looking for any more trouble soon. Number 12. Red-Tailed Hawk vs. Rattlesnake The rivalry between birds and snakes has lasted throughout the ages. Birds rule the skies, snakes are amongst the deadliest land animals, and both have had some pretty interesting battles in the past. Years ago, a cameraman would catch the incredible moment when a red-tailed hawk and an American diamondback rattlesnake decided to have a tango. It's pretty interesting to see. The hawk corners the snake in the desert and swooped down for the kill, but the rattler was quick to react and was able to back up. Five feet. It's one of the largest hawk species in the world. The bird of prey wastes no time. Despite the rattler not falling for the initial trap, the hawk remained undeterred. It spread its wings, essentially baiting the snake to strike at them, and once the rattler took the bait, it was game over for the snake. It sounds its trademark warning signal. That hawk quickly went to work, jumping the rattler and digging its talons into its head. ...and digs in its talons. The issue of which animal is the superior predator is quickly established. All in all, the hawk was able to make quick work out of the rattler, and for its troubles, they got a sweet meal out of it. Number 11. Hedgehog vs. Viper Hedgehogs are some pretty cute animals. You might have seen one or two scurrying around in your backyard, only to roll up in a little ball when it notices it's being watched. Interestingly though, these shy creatures are equal parts cute and equal parts vicious, and the exact tool that makes them cute is what also makes them lethal. When a hedgehog feels threatened, all it has to do is roll itself up and watch as its supposed predator strikes again and again. In this video, we see a snake try to sneak up on a hedgehog, but instead the furry guy just uses its scales to protect itself from the attack. The rationale is quite simple. You let the snake keep slinging attacks and repel them with your spikes. Either the snake gets tired and runs away, or you find the perfect time to strike. Whatever the case, it becomes a win-win. Number 10. Dog Pack vs. King Cobra When it comes to snakes, having a numbers advantage doesn't always guarantee victory, because their bites are so lethal that a single snake can easily hold their own when ganged up on. Sadly, though, that would not be the case when this king cobra managed to get in trouble with a pack of five dogs. As canines, dogs are naturally evolved to work together in teams in order to neutralize a common threat, and in this clip, their collaboration was smoother than clockwork. <laughs> now, despite the cobra's valiant efforts, it was just no match for the dogs. Yeah. If it was a case of just an individual dog going up against the cobra, I doubt that that snake would have had this much of an issue. But like they say, there's always strength in numbers, and in this case the dog showed that perfectly. One dog would distract the snake while another would pull at its tail or midsection. The fight lasted several minutes, and considering that the person filming didn't seem disturbed by it, we can all assume that it all ended well for the dog pack. Number 9. Woodpecker Valiantly Fights a Cobra Remember when I said the rivalry between snakes and birds is legendary? Well, yeah, I wasn't kidding around. In fact, even the smallest birds tend to grow a pair when they see a snake, especially when that snake messes with their families. In this video, we see a woodpecker hold its own against a king cobra after it made its way into her nest and then tried to steal her babies. Even though the snake bit it several times, the stubborn woodpecker would not budge. It continued picking at the snake's skin, no doubt causing some irritation. According to reports, the snake was eventually frustrated with the woodpecker's efforts and was chased out by the locals who were filming the footage.
Number 8. Bobcat Mauls a Rattlesnake Bobcats are unique from pretty much any other type of cat. They're known to be dangerous and vicious, and when in a fight, they don't hold back. However, besides their aggression, they don't really possess any abilities or skills that would make you think that they can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with a snake. Still though, aggression is everything this bobcat needed when it was tasked with defending itself from an attack by a rattlesnake, and I think it's safe to say he did pretty well. So, what exactly did the bobcat do to defend itself? While well, it delivered a series of lethal slaps to the rattlesnake's dome again and again and again. Then, when the snake extended itself just enough, the bobcat delivers the final blow. And just like that, the bobcat had a rewarding lunch for all of its troubles. Number 7. Chicken Fights Off Cobra to Protect Her Chicks If there's one thing you should never do, it's try to take a mother's children from her. Sadly though, it sure looks like this cobra did not get the memo. In a clip that was taken a few years back, a mother chicken was seen tending to her clucking little ones when a cobra appeared on the scene. The hungry snake appeared to have been full of glee after seeing its next meal, and he went in for the kill. But here's the thing though, this mother chicken was not having any of it, and in a surprising show of massive courage, she literally got in the cobra's face and made it known that it wasn't his day. It was truly an amazing thing to see. Besides fighting the cobra, the mother chicken did a pretty good job of directing her children to safety, and one by one, each chick was able to evade danger. No one got left behind, and that's a good job on the mother bird. Number 6. Leopard Shows a Python Who's Boss while the bobcat doesn't necessarily have any lethal features, it's safe to say that the leopard is a whole different beast on its own. These predators are known for their ability to hunt at night, with dilated pupils that allow them to see almost perfectly in the dark. And with their athletic abilities, they're almost the perfect versatile predator. All of this goes to show that if you want to tussle with a leopard, you're definitely going to need to have the right size to do so. And who better to test these guys than a python? In this video, we see a python come out of its watery home as it looked to test its strengths against a hungry leopard. While this was daytime, the leopard's less preferred time to hunt, it still held its own pretty well. Honestly, this wasn't even a match. As soon as the leopard was able to get a proper lay of the land, it was only a matter of time before it nabbed its prey. That's him. Is that the lip? Yeah, it's a lip. The big cat dragged its prey away from the water, but the python was able to break free and then head back home at the last minute. What a lucky break for this big cat. Number 5. Praying Mantis Fights Off a Snake Usually when you see the food chain, you see some logical sense in it. Dogs hunt cats, cats hunt mice, and then you have insects, the last rung on the ladder. Insects are expected to just roll over and be everyone's food, but in the case of the praying mantis, logic flies out the window. Mantises are known to be vicious, bloodthirsty animals, and while their size doesn't do them any good, they never run from a fight, even if that fight is against a literal bloody snake. Small snakes and do it with a very specific purpose. Widely spaced back legs for stability, the mantis makes sharp attacks trying Sure, this is no anaconda or python, but still, the fact that the snake and the mantis are comparable makes this a pretty fair fight. Despite the snake's best attempts to roll over and squeeze the mantis, the insect relies on its hind legs for stability and holds its own. 
fast enough, it can't escape from the grip. Of course, the snakes are trying to resist by wrapping themselves around the mantis. They must have not seen the little snake survive this fight, but I doubt he'd be making any more trouble again with a praying mantis. Number 4. Snapping Turtle Rocks a Water Snake Now I know the general belief is that turtles are docile and timid creatures that everyone picks on. And while they might be relatively calm, these animals are definitely not the type you want to mess with. Years ago, a wildlife photographer took some interesting footage that showed an epic underwater battle between a snapping turtle and an Asian water snake. And trust me, it lived up to its billing. The photographer had actually been curious when he saw the snake struggling to climb out of the river, so he looked underwater and then discovered the reason. A snapping turtle was literally devouring the poor guy tail first. The snake kept on struggling and trying to break free, while the snapping turtle just kept going to town underwater. And then when he was tired of the back and forth, the old king turtle decided to pull his victim under the concrete slab to complete his conquest. I guess you could say that the snake's ticket was punched because he was not getting out of there alive. Number 3. Deadly Scorpion Attacks Snake Scorpions and snakes are similar in that they both inject venom. However, considering that snakes are much larger than scorpions, I wouldn't blame you if you put your money on a snake in a fight against one, no matter how deadly it is. Still though, in this video, a scorpion demonstrates that it's not the size of the animal in the fight, but the size of the fight in the animal. When locked in an enclosed space with the snake, the scorpion had no issues going toe-to-toe -to -toe with the reptile. The snake was undeterred and came back for more, but the scorpion was quick to hit it with another jab of its poisonous stinger. I guess the snake must have thought that the third time would be the charm, but alas, he got his third strike. Number 2. Rat Evades Rattlesnake Attack There's hardly any form of meat that the snake loves to eat as much as the rat. They're warm-blooded mammals with an abundance of meat that easily fills up the snake's tummy, and over the years, snakes have grown pretty much accustomed to playing with rats however they like. Nevertheless, this kangaroo rat decided that he was not going to just join the list of rats that have fallen prey to the rattlesnake's bite. And as the name would suggest, the kangaroo rat is known for its strong hind legs, which it uses to evade danger and also fight back against predators if necessary. And when this rattlesnake tried to test the rat's gangsta, the furry guy fought back. Besides its legs, the kangaroo rat is also able to detect incoming attacks thanks to its highly sensitive ears, so even before the snake lunges forward, the rat is more than prepared. And even when the rattlesnake manages to make contact, the rat was able to quickly move itself from its clutches before the snake injected its venom. I feel like the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles could use a lesson or two from this guy, don't you? Number 1. Iguana Escapes Snake Pack Holding your own against a single snake is a tall order on its own, but when you have to literally escape a pack of snakes, all of whom are willing to have you for lunch, you're definitely a gifted individual. In what can only be described as a legendary clip, this iguana showed incredible skill as he was stalked and chased by several killer snakes. I don't know how that iguana managed to get into so much trouble, but he did, and while he tried to stall for as long as possible, the snakes quickly got on his trail. And then the race was on. In one split second, the iguana lifted his body to move, and every snake in the location began chasing.
Despite his incredible speed, the iguana had a major disadvantage. The terrain was very uneven, and his feet were unable to land properly, so every step that he took was uneven. But soon enough, the iguana got caught, and in a stroke of luck, he managed to wriggle his way out. With his last strength and against all odds, the iguana then managed to hop to safety and get away from his hungry predators. That was quite the trip indeed. Personally, I would be terrified if I ever saw a snake come close to me like that, but I guess that's why I'm not in the animal kingdom. What do you think? Would you be able to hold your own if a snake came close to you? Let me know all about it in the comments section down below.